your scale modeling and welcome to part nine of our US self-propelled 155 millimeter gun the M40 to 135 scale by Tamiya so look where we're at um, we, in the last video we put all the tools on the, on the top here and uh, the tracks on and the support for the gun on the front there uh, we also did the tracks in the last video as well and now i'm up to putting the uh this little um cable piece i've actually already glued it in there all i gotta do now is uh, attach the the handle and that's going to go in there pretty much like that easy then we need to work out where this cable is going because that finishes and I haven't ticked off the, the last one so go over to 15 is now step 15 is completed which was putting tools on the top uh, 16 is completed there was also more tools to go on there as well we did that in the last video same with 17 said with the uh, support for the gun more shovels and bits and pieces that's all done ticked off we go over to, we can skip now to step 21 which is what I'm doing now which I've just done now so as soon as I glue that in so I'll circle that tick that 21 is done now we can go over to 25 which I don't know why I haven't ticked that off because that is completed. So I will tick that off. This part here, step 24, we haven't done. We haven't put that on yet. So that's where we're at. And then I think because we're having this in a down position, uh, we need to... Yeah, I see. In step 25, we thread this cable through. So what I need to do is make sure that this can be maneuvered up and down and it's not glued in place. And yes, it isn't glued in place because the diorama, I need to have this. This is going to be in a situation where it's firing and they're loading it. So this needs to be dug into the ground or in my case, the snow-covered ground. So I need to be able to adjust that its height which I can do so that's going to work out fine but there are these two little pins that we'll need to get off the sprue and put them in and that'll hold it in place so uh, yeah let me do that um, of course first I better glue this in before I forget let's take that out for a second a little bit of glue I'll grab the CA glue just because it's handy there you go. Put it on there. And there. So if you're um, watching this for the first time, we are now on part nine of the series. And you can go back on the playlist and watch this all the way from the beginning. There we go. Uh, from the unboxing right through um, hit the notifications bell if you're not subscribed so subscribe first hit the notifications bell you get notified the moment I release these videos and uh, comments are welcome uh, please put your comments down below and also um, give us a nice thumbs up at the end to help uh, the algorithms algorithms spread this video out to more who want to see it okay i'm going to go take these pieces off the sprue little pins that go in here and then we'll have a look at putting this bad boy on yeah okay right yeah i'll be back in a second okay so there it is fitted and it literally fits perfectly Where that sits in each side is just perfect. And all I have to do now is you put these two tiny little pins, one in each side so that it can 
rotate up and down like that okay now I was just thinking because these are so small um, I'm going to do these off camera because I don't want to lose them <laughs> I really don't want to lose these all I've got to do is beat them in there I'm sure they'll go in quite easily but my hands are going to be in the way so I'll put them in and then we'll come back okay I'll be back in just a few seconds okay there it is it's on yeah perfect I'll just have to touch up with a little paint on those pins that went through but otherwise that's fine um, that flosses off that one which was step uh, 24 is done now now we're up to threading this uh, cable through so earlier on there's little pulleys that are sitting there's one sitting on that this one over here and we've got one up here where we've got to thread our cable through this will be interesting <laughs> so uh, yeah let me uh, get ready for doing that I'll be back in a sec okay so I've threaded the cable through uh, the pulleys on the bottom and up to the top here and if I pull on this one you'll see it raises it up and down looks pretty good eh now what I'm supposed to do now is um, run it through a loop down there and then tie it off and uh, yeah and that's it but the thing is I don't know where what height I want this at and how it's going to be sitting in my diorama um, obviously I want these sitting in the ground creating the support that it's supposed to as an anchor for when it fires um, so I'm not sure what I might do is uh, I'll, I'll cut this off or I'll just leave it hanging here hey that's probably the best bit best thing yeah I might do uh, a Ron trick is get a bit of blue tack and just wrap it around like that sorry you can't see there you go see, I'll put in some blue tack like that just let that stay like that that way I know it's not going to go missing and you know, I've still got a lot of excess here so I can keep all that together in the blue tack like that there we go um, because I won't be able to tie that off until I know exactly how it's sitting on the surface all right and we can just pretty much pop that in the back there yeah yeah that'll be all right all right done now I can tip off that 25 is done 26 is already done I don't know why I haven't ticked it off oh it's because it's not fitted that's that uh, platform on the back and that's another thing that I'm going to leave until the very end um, because again I don't know how it's going to sit here it is here and it simply goes in there like that that's how that's going to sit See? but I don't want to glue it in place yet because oh, that's going to have to sit on the ground so it has to be where we want it to be yeah looking good all right um, so that aside move over to the next step so the next step is actually the chain so there's two lengths of the chain that have to be cut at 70 millimeters that run down and hold that into place okay now again same problem uh, 
I don't know how it's going to sit in the diorama and I don't want to get the lengths wrong. So, uh, yeah. Although it is going to be straight, isn't it? So it's got to come down 70 mil, which is probably the exact length for that to be level. It's, it's this part down here that needs to be adjusted if it has to. I'm wondering whether I could do that with the chains. The shovel part underneath, well, that's going to, that's not going to go anywhere. So, I'm starting to think we could just glue it all in, hey. I could just build up the snow and stuff around there to make that look like it's uh, dug in. So maybe I should just attach it all. Um, because going further on takes us to building the gun which we've already done we can go right through skip all that and then go on to some cable that needs to be placed on the top of the tank that's all the way in step 42 which I said tank sorry <laughs> the um, US self propel 155 miller gun M40 <laughs> get it right uh, which is pretty much the last step of building it before we go on to the figures and some of the shells and, and stuff so I'm thinking of completing this and gluing this all in place I think I might as well do that now mind you all of this has yet to be clear coated uh, that's all going to be sprayed on there yet so yeah, I'm wondering if the clear coat is going to affect this. I should imagine it, it would have won't. And this is going to be better to probably better to have that separate one off. I can put that on and clear coat, no problem. Um, but that. If that's covering up too much, I won't get under there. All right. Uh, okay, enough talk. <laughs> I'm going to attach this so that it's on. Done. And then we'll move on to the last step of building it to put on this cable. And we'll get all that up on the top around where it's supposed to go. And then we can start looking at spraying some clear coat on the gun, on the actual vehicle, and then on this. All right. Okay. I shall return back shortly. Okay. Welcome back again. So I've um, attached this. I've tied off the cable. And um, yeah, it's sitting there just as we want it. Perfect. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing these little hitches that go on this tow cable which will sit on the front of the tank somewhere around there uh, yeah sort of they sort of run around there now I've cut the two lengths of cable here to the correct uh, length 76 millimeters there's a little measuring line on the instructions step 42 where you can get that exact length and the idea with this is quite easy really you just um glue them to each end there's there's little um uh, yeah there's little bits there where you can sit that in and throw some glue in um i need to tidy them up a little bit get the nubs off and then paint them of course so i'll, I'll attach them first and uh and do that there's also some other little d2 little clamps that go there's four of them in location that go in positions that hold them hold this down. Um, might be easy if I showed you on the instructions. So there they are there. You can see there and there. There's your measuring bit showing you where they go on. And there's little uh, clamps that hold it in position. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do all of this. And uh, when we come back, we'll have a look at it. And it should be in place on our tank. Okay, and then 
pretty sure we'll be able to um, get our rattle can of uh, clear and start uh, clear coating some stuff. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so as promised, we're back and I've got our cables on. So you can see where they're hooked down here, runs across to here, and then the second one runs around and hooks over on here. So, uh, yeah, done. And that is literally done. This whole M40 gun here is, that's everything on it. All we got to do now is clear coat. Now, I have been a bit sneaky. Um, while I was waiting for the paint to dry and the glue on those bits, um, I sprayed the big gun. I've clear coated it. I've also, the platform on the back, I've gone and clear coated that. And while that's drying, I've just put, I've just attached these onto here. Now, I think I can pretty much clear coat all of this. And then uh, something I also almost forgot about is decals. So we've got to look at those after after the clear coats dry. So yeah, I am about to go and um, spray that. Okay, and uh, yeah, when we when I get back, we'll have a look and see how it's looking with um, with our gun, which we could probably even fit. Just go to check on the decal placements. Okay. All right, back soon. Okay, so I've just sprayed half of the tank, the underside, with clear coat. I'm going to let that dry for quite a few hours before I turn it over and, and spray the top. In the meantime, I've gone over to step 44, and uh, I'm going to do all the um, charge cases and the projectiles and the rack for them because they all need to be done so here we have this so i'm actually going to clean them up first these are made of wood i guess because they're brown they've got to be colored brown uh then we've got all our shells and casings on here uh, some of them go in the rack, some will go on the ground, be stacked up. I've got different positions of where they're going to be. Uh, sort of a top down view, you know, roughly, depending on the diorama and how things go, but definitely need to make up all these. So that's what I'm going to start working on now, um, particularly how I'm going to paint them. And I've looked at these, I've noticed there's some really noticeable um, seam marks on all of these that really stand out. So they're going to need quite a bit of um, cleaning up. Because I'm sure they weren't, they didn't have those join marks when they were made. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame they like that, but anyway. All right. So, um, yeah, I'll um, get all these off, uh, tidy them all up, which is going to be a bit of a job, and uh, get them ready for painting. Okay, back shortly. Hello, welcome back. So, it's now the next morning, and I thought I'd just show you. I've primed everything with TS-80, which is uh, flat clear. And um, I thought we'd just have a look at it and I'll show you because I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> um, so here's our gun, how it's looking. So there it is there. We've got our gun metal on the breech there. And, uh, all primed up. It's come up really, really nice. Uh, all the detail in there, the wheels and everything. Really good. So I'll put that aside. Now let's have a look at the US self-propelled 155mm 
meter gun which we just looked at on the M40 vehicle and let's have a look at it there it is in there so there we go I'll just take it out that's where I like to keep it protected it, this phone lets me work on it different angles and access different areas or I can turn it over and have it on top but uh yeah so there it is all our tools on there we've got our tow ropes on there we've got our piece here which pops up for the gun to rest on it's up like that goes down um all our shovels spades steel rods and bits and pieces all in there axes that's all there. We've got the lights I've done. Well, I put the lenses in anyway. They're probably a bit hard to see. Lenses are in there. Look at that boy. Get a better view down there. There you go. So um, the, sh the back, <laughs> I think it's called a shovel, um, which digs into the thing. That's all done. The cable's running around holding and supporting it. Okay. <laughs> And you can see our tracks are a different color because we weathered them earlier. I'll just turn that over and you can have a look underneath. But of course, there'll be a lot more weathering to go. There it is. Looking all right, eh? So, I know it's looking very clean, but that'll all change. So we'll continue doing the... Um, the shells and so forth that I started. This I'm going to put aside and put it in its little thing here and also cover it in a plastic container, keep the dust off. Big problem in this place is dust. Put that aside. Um, I'll go back to doing these. Um, we've got all our shells here. We've got other bits and pieces in here. Um, I put one together, the casing, that's easy to do. These are the tricky ones that need to be sanded with the seam lines on them. But I'm going to all get them together and then I can get them all primed up. Now there are some decals here. We've got these um, yellow coloured decals that goes on, actually on these. And I think on the, on the shells as well, I'm not sure. And of course we got decals for the vehicle, um, which can go on any time too. So I might, uh, while I'm waiting for parts to dry after I've got these all together and painted up, um, I'll probably end up, we'll start doing the decals. Okay, all right, so I'll get this done and we'll come back and have a look. Cheers. Okay, I'm back and um, ready to do some decals because I've got the... Uh, shells all painted up. I undercoat them. I put the olive drab on them. They're drying now. So I thought, well, let's get some of these decals on. So um, while I was looking at the positions for them here, I noticed that there's a star here on the front. And unfortunately, it goes under the tow rope that I put on earlier. So it's got to go... Uh, here, but I think I'll be able to do that. Looks like that tow rope I can just move aside. Should be all right. So I'm thinking I might tackle that one first because uh, the rest of them are all pretty simple. So if I put that on here like this, uh, actually turn that over, put that like that. So yeah, I can slide the decal through there. I'll do a test bit. I'll cut the cut it off, and we'll have a look. So we got number five decals, and there it is. Decals. Sorry, it's very bright. Uh, or number five. There it is. There. So I'm just going to cut that off. Just get that with the scissors. This. Like that. And uh, 
file uses a hard surface. Just get that off here like this. Okay, so that's that one. Now, let's see how that's going to fit. Yeah. No problem. Slide that on there easy. I'm just going to trim it a bit more so that that numbers off otherwise we'll have that floating around we don't want it okay looks good i've got uh just uh, off camera here i've got my mark fit my go-to for decals i've got some water here with a couple of little toothpicks to move things around and the tweezers i think we're right to go yeah All right, yo. Put that in the water. Get a bit of mark fit on the surface here. There we go. And uh, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's a bit of a worry. Look at that. I hope that's not damaging the paint there. No, it's just drying. <laughs> it's a nice warm day here today. Things dry pretty quick. Right. Let it go a little bit longer. Wait till it starts lifting. Just put a little bit more mark fit on there. Like that. That's good. That should be about ready to come off. Almost. Almost. There we go. All right. Takes this water off. Get this center and straight. Oh, that looks like about it. Oh, this. Looks good. Very white, too. Yes. Certainly going to have to dirty this up. <laughs> Turn the weathering. That looks good. All right, I'll just leave that and uh, let's have a look what else we've got to get. Um, so that one's on. Then we've got to do some on the side and some on the back, but that's the only one on the front. So. Let's turn it around and have a look what goes on the back. Let's 
So we have another star going. Uh, looks like it's going to go in there. That'll be number six. Yeah, it is in there. Okay, there's a small one in there. Let me get that one off. Carefully. Okay, there it is, and this little fella, I'm going to go in there, so that's a pretty easy one there, start soaking that, I might just uh, reposition this, turn this over, there we go, pointing more up to Helping gravity help me. <laughs> All right. We'll mark it on there. That's where we want it to go. Uh, one thing I learned with mark fit, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but definitely make sure you've put your clear coat over the top before you put your decals on whatever you're doing. Because this thing will just stain and chew into your paintwork I've had that happen once and I, oh fortunately I saw it before it got too bad but yeah make sure you've certainly got a good coat of clear over the surface all right uh out of the way uh, after that there's some numbers that go on the guard here and on this side here as well, decals number 10 and 11. Then we've got the sides to do. Okay. Just realized, I'm hoping that that's not moving. It's okay. <laughs> I thought I might have been touching the back there when I put it in. That way, but it's okay. All right, let's see how this one's coming. Yep, it's starting to lift. Get the excess water off. And move our decal across. Like that. Perfect. A little bit of mark bit on top. That's it. A little bit of excess there, I'll just soak up and down. That one looks good. Okay, I'll leave that. Now we, the numbers we gotta get, number ten. And that's, uh, where are we? There it is there. We'll get number 11 off while we're here. Since that'll be next. There we go. All right. Let's 
So that one, that's going to go straight on there. Good. I'll, tell you, I'll do these two uh, and then I'll come back and then we'll have a look at doing the side because on the side we've got to put some bigger ones. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back and uh, sorry, I got I forgot I, I should have started recording. I put a couple on without showing you, but anyway, uh, here I am. I'm about to put on the larger one, which will go in here and uh, yeah, or more up that end actually. It's going to go there, so I'll just put that in the water now and uh. With those ones, I didn't bother putting some mark bit. It's a flat surface. It's they went on quite fine actually, as you can see there. There's nice and clean. They look really good. So I'll leave it that way, and I'll do the same with this one. All right, uh, I might as well get this one done, and I'll do the other side. I think there's. Yeah, they've only got the other side to do and we're done. There are some more decals to go on the um, shell casings, but of course they're still drying. But, uh, yeah, and so there'll be this on the other side as well. But we'll come back and have a look at it when it's finished, eh? All right. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> back in a sec. Okay, so our decals are on. Show you there. Front. These two, these on the side here, same the other side, and on the back we've got those there. Done. Now, what I'm thinking of doing now, I'll have to clear coat this once again over the decals just to seal them on. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to attach the chain for that platform. Uh, show you on the instructions here so see the chains and they're cut here to 70 millimeters and what i'll do is i'm just going to attach them at the top for now and let these hang down because after i've placed this in position then i can attach them to the bottom so they go in here on each side and then there's a little pin d1s which are two little pins that go in to hold them there well, they don't actually hold them there, but they do look like they uh, are there for that reason. <laughs> we'll have to figure out how that goes on. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to attach that and then um, and probably clear coat this too. I'll put it outside today. It won't take long to dry. Okay. Okay, back shortly. Okay, so... I've put the chains on for the platform. They're glued in. Um, that um, copper wire was actually for connecting these in the top there because the instructions actually said to um, cut chains to 70 mil and secure using enameled wire. Well, this was the wire that came with our our kit so i cut a little bit of that made a hook put it through where the pin drops down and holds it in place did that on both sides and uh they're there the only thing i'm not too sure about is that they're shiny and gold copper colored i don't know if i'm going to leave it like that or maybe i'll just put some black over it i'll black them out like the chain i think so it sort of stand, stands out a bit okay so the chains they're on they're ready to go for the platform so all I do now is these decals are pretty much dry. I'm going to put a quick uh, coat of um, beer on just to seal them in. And um, yeah, we'll come back and by then we should be able to put some, um, I'll say decals on the um, shell casings and so forth, but they need to be clear coated as well. So I may do that while I'm doing this. That way uh, they'll dry up quick and we'll be able to put decals on them as well. All right, we'll be back shortly. Okay, back again. 
um, got everything um, clear coded, drying, including those shell casings and the other shells that were to be done, which were all done, which are all these ones here. So they're all being done. These ones here, the F6s, I've taken them off here because um, they've all got to be painted up as well. Um, but they are different colours. So these are three different colours. So there's like a XF6, which is uh, copper. So there's a copper band that runs around it, which will be quite tricky. And then there's the, the whole... The rest of it is 62, which is the olive drab. That's fine. But then 31 is the tip of it, which is a titanium gold. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> so I'll do them all olive drab first, and then I'll be brushing with the other bits. Uh, the band around them, I don't know if I'll be able to get that on there. I probably could tape them up and do it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> There's also decals to go on these too. Um, so that's all fine. So I'm in the process now where I'm waiting for stuff to dry. And um, so what I was thinking of doing, just pull this out of the way for a moment. On there. Is move that. They're starting to fall everywhere. There we go. All right, uh, is the figures. Look at them all. <laughs> so we've got a gunner. We've got the commander. We've got gun crew E. And this guy's um, propelling charge with a propelling charge. Okay. Gun crew F is this fellow. Gun crew A, the projectile. Gun crew B is helping him carry it. There they are there. I don't know where that rack is. P3. Oh, yes, I saw them on the sprue. Good. I know what they're for. Um, gun crew C and gun crew D. We've got to do them. And there they are both holding on to this plunger. <laughs> I guess you'd call that. So yeah, so basically all I gotta do now is take all these pieces off the sprue, which I'll show you is here, which we haven't even touched yet. Okay. There they are. Um, there's that rack that they're carrying it, one of the shells with. There's the other equipment they got. There's a revolver there. There's some binoculars. Basically, I need to put all these guys together, um, which is not hard. Just measure of sticking their arms and legs and head and helmets on because they all get painted like that. Um, the last time I did figures, I put them all together and then I sprayed them with the black um, Mr. Surfacer. And uh, that sort of creates the shadow detail for uh, the different areas of the uniform when you start coming in with the actual colour of the uniform. Yeah, I'm not keen on doing figures. I've had not much experience. Um, if you want to go back and look in my the last video of my tank build, you'll see my uh, uh, little crew for the tank I did for that. Unfortunately, they, they all came out looking like Smurfs. No detail in their faces at all. I think there were five of them. They, they must have all been twin brothers because they all look the same. Anyway, I've got a few ideas. I think I learned a few things from doing those. And uh, I'll try and do these a bit better. Try and do these a lot better. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to start taking these off and putting them together bit by one by one. And uh, we'll either come back and have a look at them when they're all put together. Or 
will come back and have a look at me putting decals because my other um, clear coats clear coats on everything would have um, dried okay all right back shortly okay back again and uh, I got one of the figures mounted ready for painting anyway there we go so this is the commander he's got his hands up near his face because he's got a pair of binoculars which are here I've got to put in his hands so what I meant to do and I forgot was to have his head separate um, to paint but then I don't think it matters because we won't be able to see much of his face because of the binoculars in front of his hands and then of course there's a helmet on his head um, but there he is and uh, got his little sidearm revolver there now there are eight I think one two three four five six seven eight of these figures to work to get up get ready so I'm going to work through them all like this and get them all set up on their each, each little platform there and so I can uh, work on them painting all right the idea basically is to do a black Mr. Surfacer over the whole lot and then come in at a and from the top down with our white paint to bring up all the detail and highlight all the highlight areas and Mr. the Mr. Serbs the black will create all the shadow detail so that's a while away huh. yeah so let me go get the um, vehicle that's been uh, clear coded and you can have a look at what that's looking like back in a sec all right, so there it is. Um, that's all being the decals are on, as you can see. On the sides, it's been uh, clear coated again. And uh, yeah, ready for weathering pretty much. Now, um, yeah. It's, it's come up really nice so what I was thinking of doing was just putting the gun on but I figured it's probably easy to leave that off and work around here when I'm doing all the weathering and that um, before I put on it's, it's simply just a matter of lowering it into there and that's it um, as for the rear tray uh, the rear platform which is here um, that's just going to go into there pretty much like that that's how that's going to go in so again what I will do is keep this off so I can do all the weathering around here easily and do that separately just gives me more easy to work with and then pop, pop all that on when it's when it's done all right so um what to do now um i think the thing to do now would be I'll put this back put that away uh there we go i'll put that there for the moment uh i'll be back in a sec <laughs> okay so these are done these are all the shells and the facings everything and these all need decals so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get the decals to put on on all these um, get myself up here with some water set up and uh when i've got these uh back because i need these i haven't i haven't got enough alligator clips <laughs> i'll go and uh clip these all up and get them painted because they got to be painted up like these ones are and more decals put on them as well so there you go and as usual while i'm waiting for things to dry and so forth um i'll be putting figures together <laughs> it never ends okay i'll be back shortly okay back again and here's some of the projectiles as they're called and the rat 
So we've got the rack here. I'll put all the decals on them. See them all right. The reflection. Uh, yeah. That come up all right. I'm just going to let them dry and then I'll give them a quick uh, seal them in with a clear coat over the decal. And then I'll be able to stand them all up. They stand up in this rack here. And uh, that goes on top. And they sit uh, on the ground outside that they're loading from. Well, good. I'm about to go get the um, propelling charge cases, which are these ones we put together and put these decals on them. They're just drying now with a clear coat. So I'll um, get them ready to go and uh, get them looking like that. Okay, back again soon. Hey, welcome back. So there we go. I've got um, the um, some of the decals on some of these here. So these are the charging cases. They've come up, I've just done them. There's the um, wooden frame that these will sit in. I'm about to put those all in there. I just thought I'd show you before they go in. Um, there's some more projectiles, which are here, and they sit in the pile like that. I've just um, painted them in the green, and then uh, in about an hour or so, I'll give them a clear coat, and there's more decals to go on those, and that will be all of the decals then uh, done. So there's about another, what have we got? Six, 12 decals for the other ones. And uh, yeah, it's coming on well. Um, then after that, I've got to get on to doing these figures. Hey, I've still only got that one made up, the commander. Um, I'm going to work on the rest slowly, put them together, and I should, well, I'll have them all done today. Uh, before I need to look at painting anything. And, uh, oh yeah, it's all going well. So I'll uh, put this rack together and put all these inside it and then uh, get the other decal, other ones all um, clear-coated and decal, and we'll come back and have a look at how all this part's going to be, which is pretty much going to be laid out on outside here is where all those parts are. Uh, there's one going into the breach there. And, uh, yeah, so getting there. All right, I'll be back shortly. Hey, welcome back. Um, progressing along well here. I've got the um, uh, the ammunition for this gun, the charges here. I've put the decals on. I clear coated it all dry. Now the tips, um, I'm just dipping them in some... Uh, uh, copper so I'm making them copper um, problem is the pigments in the copper uh, are so uh, heavy and thick that I have to shake the bottle every time I dip one because the pig pigments drop sink <laughs> see so what I'm doing is I'm picking up very gently because we don't want one of these things to blow up. Going like that. And then touching it in there just enough for the end of it to cover like that. And then I slowly turn it around. Put the blue tack on here. And then stick it down like that. There we go. I'm just working along the conveyor belt line here. Although I'm going to run out of room. So, yeah, they're coming along all right. There we go. Have a look. So what I'll do is when these dry, um, I'll give them another quick spray of um, my clear coat. And then they'll be done. I can put them aside. Okay, um, I have... Oh, they're drying. Okay, I clear-coated the other missiles that are sitting in the wooden racks. They're all on there, so that's all done. Um, when I finish these, 
uh, I'll bring them back out and we'll have a look at them all, all the parts, because I've done everything now other than the figures. I've done all the bits and pieces of uh, this, this, and this. So they're all done. They will be. We'll come back and have a look at them. Okay, I'll show. Keep going very carefully here. <laughs> and uh, I'll be back shortly. I just put them over to dry by the window and I bought these out. So these are finished now. These are the charge cases and the rack. All of the missiles in there. That's come up really nice, hey? So they can get put aside to get weathered later on. I'll wait for the other bits to dry. I'm going to go back to putting some figures together. I've still only done that one commander. I've got what, another six to go, seven to go. All right. Uh, yeah, so it's all good. Back shortly. Okay, welcome back. And here we go. All the these have just been uh, clear coated with our gold tips on them. They're still drying actually. So I'm going to put those aside, let them dry. And uh, I'm going to move on and start on the figures. I need to get all these put together and ready to paint. And uh, that'll be in the next video. So we're getting up into that time error again. We're over the hour. So as usual, thank you for watching. Um, please comment below if you've got any comments and um, questions or suggestions or anything down there. No problem. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't already subscribe hit the notifications bell and uh, I'll see you all in the next video which will be uh, number 10 yeah okay good all right see you in the next one bye for now